Okay, welcome everybody. Let's take a look at the feeder cattle futures for the January 2022 contracts. That symbol is GF, forward slash GF. Today, the price is closed at 158.95. Okay, the simple moving average or the 50 day moving average, which is this blue line right here, is 157.37. You can see today, just looking at these prices, that it just came right down and touched that 50 day. Okay. So on the daily chart, looking at the feeder, feeder cattle here, uh, I see some weakness coming in here. Looks, looks a little peaky. Uh, today was a green day though, but prices are just, let's see, let's see what we got going on. What kind of action we got going on. It was finding resistance there. So it got above it. And came down for support. So, and we do have a MACD that's a little bit above the zero line. So we're gonna have to wait to see what this thing. When, this is one of those situations we got to really wait to see what feeder cattle is gonna do. Right now, it's kind of hugging the 50. Is it gonna bounce off this 50 day and kind of give us a little one of those? That's possible. Because I'm not. You know, this is just. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four. Five, six days ago, let's call it five days ago, it got above the 50, but it didn't stay above it for very long. It just peaked out within two or three days and pulled back ever since, and now it touched here and got a little bounce today. But, it, you know, it's not a super strong bounce, that's for sure. Just looking at past, see how back, way back here, how strong that bounce was. Of course, that's summertime, and summertime prices are definitely more aggressive trading. Okay. So we're going to see what this does. Does it just sit on the 50 day or, is it, or does it kind of bounce off it? Right now things look weak. So the, the, the 50 day moving average has been moving down really since, you know, uh, the beginning of September and hasn't really recovered. Just moving down little by little. Again, probably kind of seasonal thing going on here as we get into the, heading into the winter months. So I'm not seeing a whole lot of strength right there on the daily chart. Okay, let's take a look at the monthly because we always want to look at the the different time frames. Yeah. So we have a divergence signal right here, this little white dot on the stochastic momentum index. And we did get one back there too. So this is a three-week divergence, basically meaning this indicator is moving down and prices are moving up. Usually that's a sign of weakness and prices will begin to gravitate and go in the same direction as the indicator. You have a bit of a mixed signal because the big daddy showing that prices could increase, but it's a very reactive type of indicator, that big daddy. So we'll have to wait to see what happens. The, the 50 month, boy, it's just riding above. It's, it's definitely pulled back towards this 50 month, but it didn't come down and touch it. You know, it's just staying a little bit above it here. The 50 month moving average is 143.78. And today this closed at 158.95. So, you know, it's significantly above that 143.78. But things look a little bit weak, and that right there would be, you know, give us give us a little pause, you know. A moment of pause there to think about that because that looks a little bit like weakness to me, kind of creeping into the price action here. Candlesticks have gotten small the last couple months. Okay. You know, the positive thing is we, let me get, let me just check something here. When did it go, go above? Probably. Yeah. That's this summertime stuff right there. That's what my instincts tell me is that, you know, obviously we had some summertime strength happens a lot. Looking back over here. Yep. June, usually through August. Okay. September. That was a good, good one back over there. Yeah. May. That was an interesting summer right there. Okay, so a little bit, a little bit of weakness in the size. Of these candlesticks are kind of small, so I don't see prices going up too much more in the monthly. Let's take a look at the weekly chart. Okay, weekly chart looks strong. Got some strength here in the weekly chart. I think I mentioned this yesterday. Long term, the MACD is still pointing down. But a little bit shorter term, maybe over the next two weeks, something like this, week or two or three, 
Could see some prices still maybe nudge up a little bit here. Could happen. Might get that. Looks like there's some room to breathe on the weekly. So that makes sense. The monthly showing a little bit of... Monthly looks like prices are kind of stalling, but the weekly shows a little strength. So we'll have to see which, which way this thing goes. But right now I'd say there's maybe, maybe, I'm just trying to get a feel for where we've seen this kind of price action before. Let me go back to last year. See if we can get it all in the same window here. What month was this? Okay. Well, we were looking at the weekly, so let's come back over here. October. Yeah. 11.25. See how prices last year just hugged around that 50 week. They just didn't go anywhere throughout the entire late autumn, even all the way up to, let's say, second or third week of January. Okay. So doesn't mean this year will do the same thing, but I don't expect prices to get too crazy. But, but over the next few weeks, I could see prices maybe nudging up just a little bit here. But I don't think it's going to get too aggressive. It e and even because it's so seasonal, you can just see prices kind of get up there and just kind of track sideways for a while. That also could happen. Okay. Let's take a look at the hourly and get that short term. Next day or two, feel for what pricing is going to do. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking at the daily. Clicked on the wrong thing. Yeah, hourly looks a bit toppy here, and the Big Daddy forecast is is pointing down. The, the longer term hourly has this flat line right at the zero zero line for the MACD. So this looks doesn't look very optimistic on the hourly. Just looks like it's going to track sideways. There might be a little room for some for some upward action. Uh, going into 8 a.m. tomorrow when the, when the market opens back up for the feeder cattle could bump a little bit Just seeing what I got going on here, but the big daddy's showing a little bit of weakness responding to that red candle already There might be a few hours maybe Could get a couple more hours out of that It's possible You look back here it was really strong we got to the same level, which was about right there. It continued to track pretty well here. But in this entire time right here, there was no red candlesticks. Unlike here, we got a red candlestick, right? So a little bit different price action going on there. Though there was this small doji, which we could probably say is a red, almost a red candlestick. So we might see, you know, we could see tomorrow, maybe even the whole day, or at least portion of that day, trade a little bit up, okay? That's possible. There might be a little bit of room left in this. We've got some mixed signals going on here. I think Friday, even if it does trade up, I don't think it's going to be huge, but it could trade a little bit more up. But I would expect by the time we get into Monday, I would think prices are probably going to begin to roll over just like we saw right there. As it gets up in here, I think by Monday, guys, could happen Friday, but by Monday, I think prices are going to begin to roll back down and probably just stay true to this to this 50 hour moving average, you know, which is the 158 area. Um, the good thing is at the moment anyway, the 50 hour is still moving up. So that's a slightly positive sign. If that's true, then on the average, you know, you might get up into, you might see prices on Monday. Hey, you know what? Maybe we get up into the, into the um, lower 159s. We'll see what happens there. Okay, guys and gals, listen, take advantage of the membership that's in front of you right now, 595 a month in there. I get one or two trades a month that I think are going to do really well. Usually I do more than one or two trade videos a month, guys and gals. And I talk to the members specific about um, details that I don't share with the public, okay? So take advantage of that while you can. A lot of people sign up since I put this premium membership out just three days ago. So looking really good. Take advantage of it while you can. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to click that little bell to be notified of all the videos as I put them out. Talk to you all real soon again next time.